In this question, we are given a right triangle, and then we are going to find out the exact value of B, which is this side right here. We have a right triangle, 5, and this is B. This is not 6. This is B, okay? Well, I don't know what B is yet. And then this is the longest side, it's 11. And the reason that this is the longest side, it's, you can see it is the longest, and it's also because this is opposite away from the right angle. And when we are dealing with a right triangle, we have to use the Pythagorean's theorem to figure out the sides. So the first thing I have to do is, I have to label the longest side, which is right here. I have to label this to be C. And then because this was labeled the B already, I'm going to put the phi as A, okay? Here we go, Pythagorean's theorem says we have A squared plus B squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared, which is the longest side here. So it's C squared. And I just have to draw in the numbers and work it out. A is 5, so I put down 5 for A. We have 5 squared plus B we don't know yet. B squared, and this is equal to C is 11, so put down 11 here and square that. And just work this out. 5 squared is 25, and then plus B, I don't know, so B squared, this is equal to 11 squared, that's 11 times 11, it's going to give us 121. And then as usual, we minus 25 on both sides, cancel, cancel, and then we get past the B squared, and this is equal to 121 minus 25, it's going to give us 96. Well, this is B squared, it's not B yet, so I'm going to take the square root on both sides. Because this way, square and square root cancel. And in this case, I'm just going to take the positive square root right here. Just the positive square root, because this is the side of a triangle, we cannot have negative value. So positive square root of 96, and you can see b is equal to square root of 96. But here's the usual question. Can we simplify square root of 96? To do so, Remember, we have to think about what times what will give us 96, and one of the number shall be a perfect square. Well, I know 4 works because 4 times 24 will give us 96, and 4 is a perfect square, right? However, I'm going to use 16. The bigger the square root, the better it is because we can reduce a few more steps. Right here, I'm going to break this down as square root of 16, and we'll multiply this by square root of 6. 16 times 6 will give us 96, and 16 is a perfect square. So you know, we can simplify this. Square root of 16 is just a nice number 4, and then this 6 is chilling in the square root. So 4 square root of 6. This is the B value. That's it.